Hi, welcome to this week's Fundraising Friday. This week we're talking about communication strategies that you can use when you find yourself in a conflict. You might recall that last week we talked about the different stages in a conflict. So now that you know how a conflict evolves, we'll talk about how you can effectively manage it. First thing you wanna do is to make sure you are listening openly. That means that you're not listening in order to counter the other person, but you're listening to truly understand. Some of the ways you can do that is to make sure you don't have distractions, you're not looking at your phone, you're not in your head thinking about all the reasons why this person is wrong, but instead you truly want to understand. Second, you want to ask clarifying questions. That's also a way to make sure that you're truly listening. Questions like, tell me more. Explain to me why that's how you feel or how you perceive things. That will help you get to the root of what the person is feeling and how they are viewing the conflict. Third, make sure you use I messages. I messages are messages that start with the word I. So instead of saying things like, you never come in on time, you might say something like, I perceive that uh, you know, you're not showing up on time or I understood that you were supposed to be here at nine, yet last week you showed up at 920 for three days and this is how it impacts me. That again starts to diffuse the situation. You're not accusing them, but you are owning your feelings and your perceptions and your messaging. Third, make sure you're using perception checks. This is especially important later on in the conflict as you're starting to resolve it. And a perception check is when you pair it back to the person, either what you're hearing them say or what you think the resolution to the conflict is. So if I'm doing a perception check, I might say, so what I'm hearing you say is blah, blah, blah. Or so just to reiterate, we agreed that and, and talk about what it is to make sure both of you are on the same page and that resolving your conflict doesn't create a new conflict. Finally, make sure that you're using specific examples. You never show up on time is not a good way to try to resolve a conflict because it just puts them on the defensive. Last week, you showed up at 9.15 and at 9.20 and at 9.30 when I thought we had agreed that your work time would start at 9. That gives them some specific things to answer and to explain and gives you a strong base from which to work to resolve that conflict. That's this week's Fundraising Friday. Thanks. Have a great weekend.